Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So since the transfer window is open, let's talk about five players who I think should leave their football club. Let's get to it. So at number five, we're looking at Joao Palhinha, the Portuguese international who joined Fulham in the summer from Sporting Lisbon. Wow, what a player he's been. He's been absolutely immense and actually he's fit in perfectly in the Premier League. I think he should probably get a move away from Fulham. Sorry Fulham fans, but I think he deserves a top tier club in Europe too. Anywhere, top five leagues, the best clubs in the world, I think they will come after him. And rightly so, because he's a fantastic player. He can shoot, he can dribble, he can win balls. His rec ball recoveries have been phenomenal. And uh, yeah, he's just been absolutely insane. And uh, you could see what Fulham were missing when he was not playing for them when he got injured. So Jao Palinia, yeah, that's number five. At number four, we have Ivan Tony. Wow, what a player. He scored 20 Premier League goals last season and he's been absolutely phenomenal. His hold-up play, his link-up play, his physicality, everything has been top-notch. And I really think Ivan Tony deserves a top-tier club also, whether that's in the Premier League or abroad, that's up to him. But he deserves to go somewhere else and actually make a name for himself. So unfortunately for Ivan Tony, he's been banned by the FA for the next six months. So unfortunately, he can't be transferred until I guess the January transfer window, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, at number four, Ivan Tony. At number three, we have James Ward-Prowse, the golf man himself, the free kick specialist, the set piece artist, James Ward-Prowse. Wow, he can put in a ball from anywhere. He can shoot from anywhere. Yeah, he's, he's a phenomenal player too. I think James Ward-Prowse also needs to leave only because I think he's been a really good servant at Southampton and I think he also deserves a better club to play in. Considering the fact that Southampton have just gotten relegated from the Premier League, so James Ward-Prowse, he has to be playing in the Premier League in order to even play for England or be considered playing for England. It's better for his career too, in my opinion, and I think they'll get a decent fee for James Ward-Prowse, captain of Southampton too, so there's a lot of experience in the dressing room, being the leader. And yeah, James Ward-Prowse, fantastic player. I love watching him play. At number two, it's another James, James Madison from Leicester City Football Club. Really good player in terms of link-up play, he can contribute with goals, assists, carrying the ball. Really good in the final third. And uh, he tried his best, I guess, personally to keep Leicester in the Premier League. Unfortunately, they got relegated. So I think he needs to move only because he needs to be playing in the Premier League, which is good for his England career too, if he wants to play for England. And uh, yeah, James Madison, Sorry Leicester fans, but I think he's been linked with the move also like last season in the summer transfer and the season before that. And uh, I think this might be the time for him to make that move to wherever that is, Tottenham or I don't know, Man United. We'll see what happens. So at number one, sorry Spurs fans, but it's Harry Kane. Listen, he needs to go to Real Madrid, I think, because Karim Benzema has just gone to Saudi. But it all depends on how much Daniel Levy is looking to sell. But I don't think he will go to Real Madrid. I think he wants to stay in the Premier League. But I really, really think he needs to go to a better club only because of the fact that he needs to win the big trophy, man. Otherwise, he is not going to be recognized as one of the best players. And I think he is a really good player. The only reason why we kind of don't put him on a pedestal is only because he has no trophies and hey that audi cup does not count unfortunately i think he'll stay in the premier league because i think he wants that shearer record of 260 goals yep alan shearer and um, he probably wants to beat that and i think he will beat that if he stays in the premier league whether that is going to be with tottenham or with Man United, in my opinion, would be the realistic transfer for him. 
Man City, it's not gonna happen because they have Erling Haaland. Arsenal, don't even think about it. It's not gonna happen. And uh, maybe Chelsea, who knows, but I think the possible transfer is Manchester United and I think even Manchester United might benefit from getting Harry Kane. He's a really good player. Look at him. He scored 30 goals in a bang average Tottenham side last year. And that's a really, really good achievement. And uh, yeah, I think that's why I put Harry Kane at number one. He has to go. He is an amazing talent. He can shoot, he can assist, he can do anything. He's a very, very smart player too. And he's also England's captain. So yeah, Harry Kane at number one. So there's my top five players who need to leave the football clubs in order to better their career. If you have any players in mind, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And hey, sharing is caring, right? Share it with your friends and let me know what you think in the comments below too, yeah? Take care everyone. Bye. Cheers.